good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Listen, man, it's Sunday. Who got plates for me? Huh? Who inviting me over to eat, bro? Ain't nothing cooking in here right now, man. Queen, I don't know where she at right now. So I need a plate, bro. What y'all cooking, man? Drop them Sunday. Y'all know what time it is. Drop them Sunday dinners in the comment section. What you in there chefing up in that kitchen, bro? Hmm? You got some meatloaf going on. You got some fried chicken, maybe some rose pot roast, gravy, macaroni and cheese. What y'all got going on, man? Talk to me. Talk to me because my stomach right now, it's a little bit empty, bro. A little bit empty. You want to know what I had for uh, breakfast this morning? We had AHA. Like, I still think Queen thinks she like visiting her, her teenage days. You know, when you be, you come from the club or something with them college days after that, that night out at the club. What you be looking for? Like some Huddle House, some, some IHOP, because those used to be the only things open. So every now and then, again, she'll be like, yo, I want some, some IHOP. And I just look at her like, IHOP. <laughs> Bro, that's got to be like an acquired taste. Because it don't be good, bro. It ain't like it's just the best thing since, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like you got to be like, oh, my God, I just if I could just get some IHOP. Nobody says that. If I could just get some IHOP in my system today. But every now and then, man, Queen got to have that IHOP, bro. What did she get? Pancakes. Um... No, she gets the, the steak and eggs, and it comes with pancakes, and I think maybe some hash browns. And it be so much food that we just split it, so that's what we did today. We split it. You know what I'm saying? The, the steak and eggs, she likes the hash browns. I don't too much like the hash browns, because they be like soft. Yeah, we eat soft hash browns. No. And then the pancakes, we split all of that, so. That's what my Sunday so far has consisted of, so. That's why I need to know who cooking and who inviting L over for that good Sunday meal. You know what I'm saying? I'll bring the, uh, this, what you need me to bring? Let me know. I got you. All right. So the next video we going to get into, man, is the 30 random acts of kindness, man. I love doing these videos, bro, because it just lets you know that there's still some great people in the world. Because if you turned on the news this past week, what have you been seeing? Exactly. So you need to see some random acts of kindness you need to see just something just to restore that faith in humanity bro you need to see that sometimes it ain't always got to be crazy and bad and drama filled even though it's out there everywhere you turn you know so we're gonna check this video out man spread some love and positive positivity if y'all can today man just call somebody up you ain't gotta go around them you know what i mean you can keep your distance but just call them up and tell them you love them man let's check this video out Ho, 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 ho. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Leave your boy a comment. It helps. And then moment of silence for the haters. That's enough. Now run the likes up, bro. Make sure you hit that like button. Now we can go. They were saving a poor, helpless animal, and the next, someone saving our life. Every minute, hundreds of good deeds happen around the world. And today, we're going to show you the most incredible random acts of kindness ever caught on camera. But before we get started, subscribe and hit the bell. That's an act of kindness that everyone can do. Gamer Dr. Lupo was in the middle of a 24-hour charity stream when he was given a check for $1 million from Twitch. The fundraising goal of $2 million for the Children's Cancer Foundation was immediately surpassed. This is a million dollars from Twitch. I mean, it looks like now you just have to set a bigger goal next year. Stop. <laughs> I very officially say cancer. Look at how fast this guy's running after the souvenir ball. That's fire. Anybody who knows my history, um, built this, this, this right here. Anytime I see anybody doing anything dope towards cancer, um, cancer research, cancer studies, cancer uh, cures, anything, man. 
I, I, I'm always all for that type of stuff because y'all know my past. Lost my mom to cancer, bro. Lost it to cancer right around when COVID kicked off. You know what I'm saying? That was, it still is rough for me. I keep her picture over there. Y'all can't see it over there to the side. And it's like she's always watching over me. But yeah, man, talking about somebody who battled with cancer for over 20 something years, man. Over 30, I think it was. I, I can't remember the exact amount of time. But she fought it for years, bro. So I have to remind myself that, you know, she didn't succumb, she, you know what I mean, to cancer. She beat cancer, you know? She, she, Anybody who fights it that long, she was strong, bro. You know what I mean? She, she was strong. Always makes me think about that. But, uh, yeah, man, salute to him for doing that. That's huge. Please say cancer look at how fast this guy's running after the souvenir ball only to give it to this little girl right after there it is i was rooting for the girl myself it's in the end yes coco johnson spent a whole year in the hospital and finally said farewell to sarcoma so all of her neighbors decided to arrange a welcome home parade for her <laughs> is dope that's dope <laughs> this professor was that's like you know what i'm saying man if you ever dealing with like I, I i feel so bad when i see children having to go through stuff you know what i'm saying especially that they didn't get to live like that normal life that a lot of us had to well, our lives weren't normal but you know to have that life that kids should have you know what I mean? And that, them having to deal with stuff at an early age, man, that always tears me up inside. So to see that type of love shown, man, that's what it is. That's what it's about, bro. Very upset when none of <laughs> This professor was very upset when none of his students turned off their cameras in the last lesson. But suddenly, all of them showed up on the screen and he couldn't hold back his tears. <laughs> After this fighter won the match, his opponent couldn't get back on his feet because he was in severe pain. So the winner returned to carry him to the medics. Oh, look at that. There's a show of respect if you ever needed to see one. A police officer stopped this motorcyclist and asked him to catch up with a bus to return a random woman her lost medicine. And the rider took off without a moment's hesitation. This wild lynx got caught in a trap, but it was lucky that this man decided to risk his own life to set it free. Oh look, that poor animal certainly wasn't expecting such kindness from humans. Look at the way the animal look like, like hey, my instinct says to, to go chase him down and try to maul him, but he just helped me out. Like, why, why am I feeling this way? <laughs> what are those feelings I'm feeling? A pedestrian woman got trapped under a Mercedes after an incident, and random passersby lifted the 2.5-ton car just to save her. Fortunately, the woman was not hurt. That's fire, bro. This Zimbabwean farmer was supposed to throw away fruits that were unsuitable for export, but instead, he gave three trailers worth of oranges to hungry elephants and monkeys. This teen found a wallet with $1,500 and decided to return it to the owner. He just left the wallet on the porch without taking a cent. When a fireman pulled a dog from a burning house, the poor little guy could no longer breathe on his own. But these heroes fought for his life until they won. Got it. Bro, could you imagine? And I've never taken a dog out of a house before. You know what I'm saying? I've always, we've always, when we got in there, had never really made it. You know what I'm saying? So what we would have to try to do because the owner, the homeowner would be outside spazzing about, you know, their dog, you know, emotions everywhere about their animal. We would try to, our best to get them out of the house without the owner seeing it because you don't want them to see their, their animal 
dead. You don't want them. That's like a loved one to them. You know what I mean? To me too, bro. If something happened to those two bears upstairs that y'all constantly hear, bro. Like I would be destroyed. I'd be messed up. They've grown that much attached. They are family members. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, we used to try to, if it was a, a cat or a dog, bro, you try to, if, if the family is out front, you try to take them out the back and, and just keep them so they don't have to see that, you know, because that, that, that's hard to see. This little girl is taking a photo with her favorite team, not suspecting that the guys have a surprise for her. What is it? What is that? Mama? It's her mom, who she hasn't seen in a long seven months. What a touching moment. This ride could have been the last for this That's fire. motorcyclist if he hadn't dodged a blue SUV in time. When the car driver walked towards him, he was ready for anything but this. Sorry. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for stopping, sir. Yes. You have a good memorial Are you day. Sure you're okay. I'm positive. Thank okay. you. The huge sawfish ended up on the shore, and no one dared <laughs> to help it, except for these two brave guys who weren't afraid of its sharp saw. <laughs> And this big guy is helping his little bro to get out of the floodwaters. This man went to his favorite barber shop to shave his head due to cancer. So his barber decided to support him in a very touching way. And then everyone who was there at that moment joined him. An incredible example of support. This married couple saw a turtle that had washed ashore. It was entangled in fishing nets and could hardly breathe. The man was barely able to cut the nets and set the animal free while his wife burst into tears. <laughs> this old man saw a sh uh, That happens more often than we think, y'all. You gotta be careful with... Just don't be throwing nothing in the water, man. Stop littering. Chill. Put it in the trash, bro. Stray dog dying of thirst directly in front of a water source. So he gave the dog water straight from his hands. As they say, you can tell a lot about a person by how they treat a dog. A bike driver lost control in the middle. Y'all yeah, don't be alarmed if y'all ever see me outside doing that too, bro. <laughs> I'm that person too. Like even when I walk my dogs, if we walk in for long periods of time or something like that, I keep a bottle of water or something. You know, we had the little, it, we had a little device that you could uh, press a button and it would inject, uh, push water out so they can drink. I don't know where that, we boys lost it. But um, what you'll see me do though, is I'll keep a bottle of water around. And when I'm walking, we out walking, I'll just pour it in a cup of my hand and you'll see my dog just sitting there just drinking it. Like, like, oh my God, I love you. I love you. And he just be sitting there drinking it, drinking it, drinking it, drinking it, drinking it, drinking it. I'm like, <laughs> I got you, bro. Hey, they, they'll, I'm telling you, they'll love you for it. On a busy highway, but the Audi driver reacted immediately. Whoa. This man is just a regular school custodian. On his way to the gym to clean up, he wasn't expecting to receive this kind of surprise for National Custodial Workers Day. <laughs> Look at how little it takes to make a whole bunch of strangers smile. This random Russian guy had no idea how to help this poor deer, but he refused to leave the animal in a crisis and did the impossible. Wow. This woman was trapped during a flood. Her car was quickly sinking in water, so these three men formed a human chain to save her at the last second. This guy had only one dream. To That's insane, bro. Yes, I'm highlighting these gentlemen. Because this type of stuff needs to be shown, bro. This type of stuff. This is this is heroic. Look at them, how fast that water's coming down, bro. None of them probably are trained in like, what is it, swift water rescue? No. Like, they're putting their lives on the line. <laughs> this 
this guy had only one dream. To ride a real Lamborghini. And blogger Andy Papastu was able to make that dream come true. The owner of an expensive car was leaving a parking lot when he saw a poor man struggling to push a cart up a hill. He could have just driven by, but here's what he did. This is what it means to always remain human. This guy's car stalled right in the middle of a tunnel. Suddenly, a motorcyclist came to his aid, and then another. Together, they pushed the car out of the tunnel with their feet without even getting off their bikes. See, that's the thing, that's thinking with your dipstick, Jimmy. That's thinking with your dipstick. When protesters heard the sound of a siren, they immediately got out of the way so an ambulance could get to a person in need. When this poor girl was extremely emaciated and refused to eat, a veterinarian decided to eat breakfast from identical bowls with her in a cage, and it worked. If only everyone had a heart as big as this man does. Hey, you'd be, you'd be surprised what encouragement does. Every now and then our dogs get like that, bro, where they just be looking at you. And they get the same type of food, so I don't know if they get tired of it sometimes or what it is. You know, I need to get some, I need to look up some stuff on that. But if I sit down by them and encourage them, just be like, oh, good boy, good boy, good boy. If I sit there and do that, they'll eventually go to eating and eating and going crazy over the food. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. They just, sometimes they just need that encouragement, man. They just need that extra love sometimes, even during feeding, you'd be surprised. This woman saw a stray dog asleep on the cold ground and decided to wrap it up with her scarf to protect it from the rain. This guy's load got scattered all over the road and he certainly would not have had time to pick it all up by himself. Then the orange car driver blocked traffic and random people came to his aid. An old woman didn't have time to cross the road and was frightened when cars began to drive past her. Then, a scooter driver pulled over to make way for her. It only took a minute, but what a good deed. And that's all for today. If you That's crazy, everybody. And I, all them cars that saw that lady. You know what I'm saying? I got one message to all y'all. Y'all eventually will get older, bro. We all will get there, hopefully. You know what I mean? It's the goal to be old. So you may need that help one day, bro. Treat others the way you want to be treated, man. Treat others the way you, and it's simple. And, and that's been a simple saying for years. Simple. 30 random acts of kindness, man. You, the, the, to, to, to restore the faith in the humanity. You know, just let you know there's some good people that's still out there, man. You know, I still have my trust issues because of a lot of the other videos that we watch, but... Sometimes you got to break that up and show some real good stuff sometime. That's what I like to do. It's your boy L. Y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. And uh, stick around and stay tuned. Till the next reaction, I'm out. Peace, y'all. Stay solid. Hey.